Hello friends, are you having trouble locating SVG files after you've downloaded them onto your computer? Do they open in your internet browser like Chrome or Internet Explorer? Don't worry, this happens to a lot of crafters and here's a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to fix it. This tutorial will show you what the steps looks like on a PC computer running Windows. First, open File Explorer and locate the folder on your PC where the SVG files are supposed to have been saved. Here's a design file for a birthday card I downloaded from SoFancy. I've already unzipped the file folder and opened it. And as you can see, the designer has included different file types. And as mentioned in the item description, SVGs was one of those file types. But sometimes it's not always very obvious which files are the SVGs. To fix that, click View in the top menu and then find the File Name Extensions box. And go ahead and check that box. This box will reveal what's called the File Name Extensions, which tells you what kind of file it is. For example, an SVG would be saved with dot svg after the file name and a pdf file would be saved with dot pdf after the file name the type column can also give you information about what kind of file it is and even what program the file will open with when you double click on it to access this view click view in the top menu details then the down arrow next to add columns. Make sure type has a check mark next to it. And then the type column will be revealed for this folder when you view the details. Click on the type column name and the folder will become sorted by the similar file types. Now all the PDFs, the PNGs, the DXF files, etc., are next to one another. Look in the type column for the SVGs. On my computer, as you can see for the SVG files, under type, it says Chrome HTML document. On your computer, it could also say something like Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, or even something else. But as it is now, when you double click on this file, the file opens in the Chrome Internet browser. If the file type had said Internet Explorer, the file would have opened in the Internet Explorer browser. To make these files and then all SVG files open in Silhouette Studio when you double click on them, follow these steps. Right click over one of the SVG files, click open with, then click choose another app. In the box that opens, click more apps. Then click look for another app on this PC. A dialog box will then open and it is here you need to locate the Silhouette Studio software program. It was easy for me to find by typing Silhouette Studio in the search box. And this is the file you're looking for, the silhouettestudio.exe file. Click on it, then click open. The SVG you just right clicked on will now open in Silhouette Studio. Now go back to File Explorer, right click over one of the SVGs, click Open With, click Choose Another App, and SilhouetteStudio.exe should now be listed. Click on it to select it, and then check the box, always use this app to open .svg files. The SVG file that you right clicked on will now open in Silhouette Studio, but more importantly, go back to File Explorer. See how the SVG files now say SVG file under the type column? Yes, you've done it. From now on, when an SVG file is saved on your computer, when you double click on it to open it, it will now open in Silhouette Studio. You can change the setting at any time to another program if you wish. And that's it, my friends. Hopefully this video will make it easier for you to locate and work with your SVG files. Thanks for watching. Bye.